Alright everyone, this is Zero Budget Geek and welcome back to Friday Night Magic Do's, the show where I misplay decks made by the community. In this episode, we're taking a look at a deck that I call Broken Will. This deck was created by Zilfran from the Magic Do subreddit and this is a red, white and blue uh, draw go deck. So basically we play lots of instants, mostly on our opponent's turn. Uh, you know lots of removal and card draw and then we basically play out a big bomb to defeat our opponent so let's go ahead and see how this deck is put together now um, it is modified from the original deck list based on the suggestions by other commenters on the uh, you know on the subreddit so here we have two fall of the Titans we have four fiery impulse we have three blessed Alliance Three Telling Time, three Harnessed Lightning, two Dynavolt Towers, two Scatter to the Winds, two Broken Concentrations, one Causalex Return, two Radiant Flames, two Insidious Will, three Glimmer of Genius, one Comparative Analysis, one Nahiri the Harbinger, two Confirmed Suspicions, one Torrential Gear Hulk, one Chandra Flame Caller, and one Ulamog the Ceaseless Hunger. We have seven islands, two mountains, two wandering fumaroles, two needle spires, two prairie streams, two cliff trap retreats, two sulfur falls, two glacial fortresses, and three aether hubs. All right, let's see how bad I can play this deck. All right, so we get to start things off, and this is actually not terrible. We'll keep this hand. We got a card draw. We don't have any creature control, which we'd like to have. Um, two more basic lands. I think I'm going to go ahead and put this Prairie Stream now. Because I may not have the two basic lands for a little while. We only have one here. And I'm actually fine with these three here. These three cards. So I want to get a Dynavo Tower down pretty quickly if I can. Because then I can start charging it up with all these instants that I have. Um, but we did not join to any of our creature control. He plays an Orin Reef. Uh, Radiant Flames is kind of nice. Let's go ahead and just put the island down for now. And then we'll pass the turn. And we'll probably telling time on his turn or, or during his end phase. We'll wait to the end to make the best decision possible. So we just play stuff on our opponent's turn mostly. Uh, mostly creature control and things like that. So during this end step, we'll go ahead and telling time. It's probably going to be an Eldrazi deck. Maybe artifacts. Um, Chandra is nice. I don't think we need her yet. Um, do we need all these counter spells? Um, well, I guess I'll take the scatter to the winds. And I don't really want Chandra yet. So let's just take the that on top of our library. Counters are fine. We don't need Chandra for a while yet. So we'll go ahead and put the Aether Hub there. And <clears throat> do I Dynavolt Tower? Yes. Yeah, let's go for that. And let's hope that uh, he doesn't play something that we regret. We do have a Radiant Flames that we can fire off, though. If things get a little out of hand. So he's only going to be able to play probably one creature here. And he doesn't. Alright, so that's good. Let's go ahead and Wandering Fumarol. And that's it. We just passed the turn. And now we can pretty much counter whatever he pulls out. And meanwhile, we'll charge up this Dynavo Tower. This thing's really good. Uh, he's going to go ahead and read the bones. He's digging for something. He's going to take some damage, which does help us. Because we do win by uh, life destruction. So uh, during our opponent's end step, we don't do anything. Radiant Flame is one of the few uh, sorceries in our deck. Probably the only one. He discards uh, Rabbit Bite, so he's having trouble over there. Um, 
We don't do anything. We just pass the turn here. So we'll hold up a counter spell and or if he doesn't do anything, we'll go ahead and comparative analysis at the end of his turn. And he's got four mana though, so I don't understand why he's got like no play. That happens. All right, we'll go ahead and put the filigree familiar. Do we scatter to the winds that? Um, I'm thinking no, because we can radiant flames that. I'll let that be. I'd rather do my comparative analysis. I'll do this. I'll draw two cards. Charge up this. Although he didn't really have much to play, we go another counter spell. Uh, we control mountains or plains. We do so we can go ahead and put this down, and that'll be it. We could actually make this a creature to block if we really wanted to, but I don't think we we, we want to do that. So we are going to take some damage from this little filigree familiar, but I really don't want to give him the card draw. So maybe I should have countered it. That's an argument towards countering because I really don't want him to draw and fortunately he wasn't able to put a plus one plus one on it and we could block it I don't think there's a real reason we won't we need to unless it gives us a reason to we'll take it titanic growth we'll go ahead and we just broken concentration that. I'm allowing you to hit me for two, not for six. Don't want six. You got someone else up your sleeve? Probably not. Looks like it might be a newer player. Looks like he's got to take some time to read the cards. He'll go ahead and put the Cobra there. Can we stop that? We can kill that. Do we need to? He's death touch into end the turn. We could Radiant Flames. I don't know that I need to do that. I might let him overextend. We got another Radiant Flames. I think I want to let him overextend and we'll play that. And... <clears throat> Yeah. Who we'll let it be? Who we'll let it be? We're playing the patient game. That's what we got to do here. So he's definitely a creature based strategy, which is what our deck excels at against. Or it's designed to uh, retreat to Kazandu. Uh, I think I want to. I wish I could. Uh, Choose new target for target spell. <laughs> I wish I could uh, do that, but we're going to go ahead and broken concentration that. I don't want him to have any life gain or putting plus one, plus one on his stuff. All right, we will take four damage here, but then I'm probably going to just radiant flames. And I'll still be able to keep up. Will I still be able to keep up a counter spell? I think I will. Yeah, I have enough. Plus, we drew a mountain there. So let's put this and let's just radiant flames right now. We don't need to do it for three, but if I do it for, well, it doesn't matter. What am I talking about? Do that. We'll do it for three. That's fine. Because we have to spend three mana, so that's fine. And we do keep a scatter to the winds available. We actually have an Insidious Will also available, so that's neat. And it also charges up our Dynavolt Tower. That's going to come in quite handy later. Alright, he did get to draw a card from his Filigree Familiar, but... You know, we still have another Radiant Flames on backup and lots of counter spells. Though, I need to draw into my card draw. That's what I haven't... I've only gotten one. I guess another Retreat to Kazandu. Uh, that was hey, I was countering that. Gee, what the frickins? Hello? It is not letting me pause. What the hell? 
That was supposed to be a counter spell. Two, that was two counter spells right there. Shit. All right. We're going to let that through. God damn it. <clears throat> and we got a Kozilek's return. So, yeah. All right. That was supposed to be a counter spell, and I, it was bugging. I was pressing the pause, and it just would not. So let's see if he plays. I don't mind if he puts a plus one, plus one on it. Now, the question is, do I kill it before it comes at me? Or do I cause Lex return it or Radiant Flames it? I really want him to overextend. But we can't keep taking too much damage. So let's just go ahead and just use this. And then that'll be it. Let's see if he's got anything else. Puts a uh, self assembler. It's a library. You research your library for a uh, blah blah. It's a 4 4. Okay, we will scatter. Actually, counter time you choose. No, 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 no. Uh, I think we just scatter. I do like the fact that we might be able to awaken. Can we awaken now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, we could. So why not? Let's scatter to the winds. We'll awaken a land. Um, choose that spell to counter. And we're going to give this some bunch of counters. So now when we make this a creature, it'll be a 4-7. Uh, and we can flip that. We can hit for 7. Wow. Uh, let's go ahead and Aether Hub here. And I think we do turn this into a critter. We've got a counter spell on deck that we can use. Although it using up all my blue for that is not well liked. All right, let's go into attack phase. Into attack phase. Uh, our opponent might be quitting. Oh, all right, there we go. Confirm attack. During his block step, stop. And let's switch the power and toughness. What you doing? All right. He's going ahead and reading the card, trying to know what it does. But I don't think for one mana, he's got much that he can do. But we're going to hit him for seven here. And hello. I guess you're going to let the timer run out. As you read it, come on, it's not a hard concept. All right, boom. And just like that, we have a very uh, powerful creature on the board. And we've got nothing else that we're going to do for the turn, so we'll pass. We've got one scattered to the winds available. He's going to gain life here, I guess. And Liliana. Why didn't I not... What's going on here? That's supposed to be a counter, man. Oh, Jesus. Hmm. I could damage her, but... Won't... Uh, that won't do anything. It's not enough. Alright, that's fine. I don't know why it's not letting me pause the game to do my counters. It's letting me pause to do that stupid crap. God damn it. Alright, when we get an island here, we'll go ahead and make this a creature. Don't tap on my blue, please. Here. Let's. Something like that. And. We're going to go ahead and just kill her. Confirm the 
lockstep like this which is the power and toughness and that should take care of her Boop. and we're done with our turn all right so as you can see this is you know uh this draw go deck is basically a grind deck but pause the game please um let's go ahead and insidious will that because i want to try to be able to awaken counter target spell <clears throat> get rid of that thing that way we can try to scatter to the wind to make this thing even bigger But I mean, it was a 7-4, it's still pretty good. We got a Torrential Gear Hulk, which is quite nice. Um, let's go ahead and make this a creature. And we still, we can't play the Gear Hulk, but this is still pretty good. And let's go into attack. Confirm, and I don't know if our opponent has much that he can do. And we'll do this, making it a 7-4, hit him for that amount. And there you go, so we should be able to defeat him next turn, barring something happening. Uh, he puts these self-assemblers, I, I do want to go ahead and just scatter that to ensure we win, right? Yeah. And he's had enough, so we'll continue playing. We'll finish this out. And between our Wandering Fumarole here and the Dynavolt Tower, we should be able to take him out. And actually, during... Just in case. During his end step, we'll ping him. Just to be sure. And then we have this untapped. And we have a Harness Lightning there too. Which does not go to face though. So that's unfortunate. Make this a creature. Uh, tab the keys. Give me something else. Confirm. And during block step. All right. So our wandering fumarole has taken the game all the way. And that'll be it. Thanks for playing, Abu Leko. All right. So our opponent will be playing first here. We've got three lands, a Dynavo Tower, some stuff here. I think we're okay with this. I would have liked to see some card draw. Um, we'll probably lead off with the mountain. Confirm suspicions is a nice card, but not something we want to see. But right now, the only two cards that are really useful for us is the Blessed Alliance and the Harness Lightning. Fall of Titans is just kind of hard to use this early in, in the game. So let's hope uh air of falcon rough so she can do bad things to us she's a 2-1 and she can turn into a 3-2 flyer that's not too bad a wandering fumarole do want to play that now i could play aether hub and have her do, or we can hmm do i really need to kill that I don't think I need to kill it yet. I think I'd rather develop a bit. And we'll go ahead and put this wandering fumarole. All right. <clears throat> I'd rather develop a little bit. I mean, she could hit us kind of hard here. All right. But I think we can even if she transforms, we we can we can still kill her. And if she transforms and hits us only for three, but he may do some kind of madness shenanigans. All right, is he using her ability? Let's 
just gonna discard something. Alright, what's going on here? Alright, he's making a 3-2 flyer. This didn't have madness, right? Um, there's nothing we can play right now, so... We'll just let it happen. But that's pretty much what I figured would happen. But fortunately, we have... We have stuff to deal with that. Scattered. Hmm, scattered to the winds is kind of nice. Um, I really would like to put down that Dynavolt Tower. But that means I'm letting myself get another hit. However... I could charge it up pretty quickly. I mean, he's going aggro on me. Hmm. He's going aggro. I really think... I think we develop. All we need to do is outlast him. So let's put that. <clears throat> and taking a risk here. I'm taking a risk because uh, though his discard outlet is now gone. He can't d discard with it anymore, but he's got a 3-2 fly. But we, we've got ways to deal with it. And I'd rather charge this up to deal with the other stuff he's got going on. Fortunately, it looks like he may have hit a mana screw. So we've taken some early damage. Uh, control a planes or an island. We do not have a planes or an island. But we don't need four mana right now. Except for maybe for Fall of the Times, but not really. So we'll go ahead and put the Glacial Fortress now. And then that will be it. I will probably harness lightning. Yeah, but we'll hold on to those things. And that'll be it. Let's go ahead and harness lightning that. And we'll just spend the two. There we go. Alright. <laughs> that resolved quite quickly. Uh, an island there. Uh, I think I still want the Aether Hub. That, that actually helps the Dynavolt Tower. So we'll go ahead and put that. And I don't think we're playing anything else. And then we'll pass the turn. All right. So now our opponent is in huge trouble. He's in big trouble because he's still... He's just got mana screwed, unfortunately. Um, Olivia's Bloodsworn. Oh, God. I was supposed to be a... Uh, I don't really need to counter that. That's fine. doesn't have haste and none else I want to do this is a comparative analysis which is nice let's go ahead and put this island down and we can bless the lines and still comparative alliance analysis sorry all right pass the turn can't block uh, he puts out a creature which is not good for him. Um, I can cast this for one, two, three and kill both. But then I won't get to comparative anal analysis. But it's still good card advantage. So let's let that be. Alright, let's just follow the Titans now. Just for one, right? Okay, confirm. And then we can... Well, we can still comparative analysis. I forgot it has a surge. But we'll wait to the end step. to the end step like now and go ahead and play it with search on me all right 
It's one thing that I definitely always forget about comparative analysis, that it does have surge and we can play it for less. That was good. Okay. All right. We've pretty much turned the corner here. We'll go ahead and put this needle spires. Um, so I can start using that to kill him. And that'll be it. We'll hold up everything else. I don't want to use these creatures to attack until we have a lot more mana. Um, to at least hold up a counter spell. And our opponent's discarding. And he's, he's left the game. So unfortunately, uh, continue playing. We'll, we'll finish it off. Uh, but he's got pretty much nothing going on. Let's go ahead and do we need a spaz one? One, two, three, four. We can keep up a counter spell. So that's fine. And then we'll go ahead and finish him off there. Confirm. So he's got a uh, traitorous instinct, but we really don't run many creatures. And by the time we put a creature, we'll probably have a uh, counter spell for it anyway. All right, that'll be it. Pass the turn and we move on. So he started with a good start, but then he completely sputtered. Unfortunately, that's what happens when your mana screwed. You no, know, it, it, it happens. But let's see how aggressive we can get here. Um... We can, get, we can get pretty aggressive, uh, but we're just going to go ahead and do the Needle Spires. And go ahead and attack with that. And with his bad luck, he drew a freaking a tapped tap land. All right. We'll try to finish this out in short order. But I don't want to tap out just to do more. I mean, we could hit him for eight, but that's not enough to kill. Well, actually, eight, no. Even with Dino Vault Tower, we can't kill him yet. So I'd rather control the battlefield. We'll, we'll ping away little by little. That's what this deck does. It is a grind deck. Uh, that's a skulk. Uh, I could just ping it with the. I don't need to counterspell that. Yeah, we'll use this to get rid of that. Ah, interesting. Um, that's uh, no, because now he can block this guy. How do we want to do this? Do we? But we can't count. We can counterspell it. Um, let's just counterspell it. Let's get this over with. Let's end this shenanigans. I don't think he's got much left that he can do. We got a torrential gear hulk there. That's just really nice. All right. Um, actually, I think. Do we attack? If we attack, we can't do the Gear Hulk. And we got no counter spell. Um, well, no. We'd be able to comparative analysis, confirm suspicions if we need to. So let's. Hmm. Or do I wait for the Gear Hulk? I can do one of these. All right, we'll hang back. I, I do want to do the Torrential Gear Hulk. He hits for more than the Needle Spires. And he's got mana now, so he could probably do something. But with, with what we have... All right, uh, I can Gear Hulk and... Get rid of that. So let's... Play that guy and we'll do the scatter to the winds confirm can we awaken that yes i want to use the ability yes do i want to play with mana cost choose a spell to counter 
Yeah, we don't get the awaken. I think you only get the awaken if you do it from from play it from hand. All right, so now we can hit for five, we'll hit for nine, 10, 11, 12. There we go. We've got the kill coming up. All right, and let's go to make this guy a critter. All right, continue. And then we'll attack with all during the attack phase. And then we'll finish him off with the Dynamo Tower. And here we go. All right. Thanks for playing, Red Baron. All right. So we get to start this party off. And with all those lands, we're going to draw a new hand. And this is not great. But I don't want to go to fuel cards, so I mean we got a fiery impulse and radiant flames. We have one of our wind conditions there, so but <clears throat> I guess this is okay. We've got a bunch of creature control. So let's go ahead and lead off with a mountain, and that'll be it for now. And that's how we do. Draw a card and pass the turn and say go to the opponent. So let's see what our opponent's got going on. And fortunately, because of the Aether Hub, we will be able to Radiant Flames for full damage. Um, I think, though, we're going to put this Needle Spires. So we don't need two mana at the moment. And feeling pretty good that our opponent is starting off slow. The slower our opponent is, the better for us. Although we're generally okay against aggro with stuff like radiant flames and whatnot all right puts out a little what is that uh what is that uh he can pump it a little bit it's not that much of a issue but we'll go ahead and kill it anyway and a wandering fumarole uh, do we need we don't really need three mana right now, so we'll go ahead and just put that into play since it has to come into play tapped. And then we'll pass the turn. No. Argument could be made that I could have just let him keep that. But eh. You know, the idea being that he plays more creatures and then we Radiant Flames them away. Um, but we want to stall our opponent at... Okay, he's left. Flesh Dizzle has been replaced by AI. Maybe he didn't draw anything good. Who knows? Uh, Sky Hunter Skirmisher is not fun to see. That's a 1-1. One, one. We could follow the Titan stat, but I think we're going to hold on. A blessed alliance is not terrible. Um, so, pass the turn. So, let's see. He'll attack with that. And how much can we follow the Titans for? We can fall just for one. I think I let this hit me unless he does something dumb like put this. Snare top, they're flying haste. Hmm. Hmm. Do I let myself take five damage, but then kill both of them? I think so. Cause I can't I can't do it right now. I, I would have to do it for two. So I need uh two, four, I need five mana, which I don't have now. I will have next turn. So we'll let that hit me. Although or I could just radiant flames. That's a little bit more man efficient. All right. Uh, unless you control two basic lands. Yes, we do. So we'll put that and then that's it. We do have mana available for Chandra flame caller coming up. All right. We'll leave it like that and let's see what he's got. 
it taps out for a ballista charger. Hmm. I think in response to that. In response to that, we're going to kill those two. So you can't crew it. So, boom. Confirm. But now, I'm not sure I want to put Chandra down because he can crew this and basically kill her. She only pluses for one. So let's put down this island here. Uh, no reason. We'll put this island. I don't want to put her yet because he can play a creature, crew it, and then we're screwed. So I want to wait till we have Blessed Alliance on deck. So, so a couple turns at, at the very least. Let's see, he might he might just crew it now with something. Oh god. Another one? Jeez. Alright. I don't really have an answer to those. Telling time is nice. Aether Hub. Do we? I don't think we really do anything yet. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we don't have. We can't put her and have blessed alliance to protect her. So we just passed the turn. All about patience. All about patience. We have a telling time that we can use blessed alliance to stop one of these. I mean, it's possible you could put two creatures and crew them both, but they take three. That's a woken turn. We can use that to crew it. But I don't think he's going to be able to. Oh, there he goes. Alright, I gotta believe he's going to... No, he did not. Alright, there it is. And wait, what does it do? Uh, it deals one damage to target creature or player. Well, we're going to go ahead and bless the lions. Uh, target opponent sacrifices an attacking creature. Hold on a second. Bless the lions. I can... I can do it for... Do I want to gain life? Two, three, four... Yeah. Target opponent sacrifices an attacking player gains four life. Alright, finish. Choose a player to gain four life. That'll be me. And you sacrifice. And we'll hit. Uh, I don't want to use up my blue. Hello. There we go. Oh, it didn't matter. Alright. And then during his end step. We'll go ahead and telling time. A nice out of creatures. Oh, a Dynavo Tower is nice. A Glimmer of... T Ew, God, all of these are good. Well, I do like the Glimmer of Genius. And Dynavo Tower. Go on top. But probably... Uh, let's see here. Maybe Dynavo Tower and then Radiant Flames. And then he's got... Not a whole lot. So let's go ahead and I mean, he's may get lucky and draw something and attack, but we won't die from that. So Dynavolt Tower and Radiant Flames. That's fine. One of the few times that we're going to tap out on our turn. <clears throat> now, he could hit us here, but that only put us down to 12, 13, uh, 11, rather. Because it pings us for one. Alright. He cannot crew it with that. Not enough. Not big enough. So that's good. So I let him draw a card. When it dies, he draws a card. Alright. Hmm. This is not good. 
This is really not good. So let's Aether Hub here. I could go for the scry draw now. And let's wait. Let's wait a moment and see what he does. Since it's an instant, we can wait. I don't want to push Chandra until we can deal with this thing. All right. Alright, we definitely need to dig for a blessed alliance here. Alright, he's gonna ping us. Alright, we definitely gotta go for this and hope we gotta dig for a blessed alliance. That's what we gotta find. Um we don't want either of those. telling time <laughs> telling time uh, that's not what we want well I think I'll take the Kozilek's return over the dynamo tower because that's not gonna help us out that much and sure I'll put that on top of our library And yeah, there's not nothing else I can do. Kha'Zix return and this only hit for five. So I have a problem with that vehicle. Big problem. Although I can kill these two critters. So. And we should do that now before you can get that online. So let's uh, Kha'Zix return. Deals two damage to each creature. and ping it with this. Hmm. I think we do need to pull out Chandra here. I mean, if he's able to crew it and kills her, then it's better her than me, basically. I could go for a draw, a card draw, but then I can't play it, so let's just... Let's just plus one her. And there we go. If he's got a creature to play, then he did get to draw a card from the Drake dying, though. So that makes it much more likely that he can crew this. But again, if he attacks her, then that's, you know, an attack that's not coming to me. So let's see what he's got. Show me what you've got. Razor Foot Griffin. It's not enough. It is for strike though, which stops these guys. And nothing. But we do got a Dynavolt Tower. We got another Dynavolt Tower. We'll, we will. Uh, actually, I think we ping that. Make a creature. Yes. All right. Get rid of you. Plus one here. And I think we make the first striker. Uh, I do want to keep two blue available. Oh, there we go. And that'll be it. An attack. Yeah, so vehicles are a little bit of a problem for this deck, but we do have Blessed of Lions to deal with that, and that'll be it. We're not going to play this Donovan Tower. We want to keep the Scatter to the Winds available. So, that'll be it. We have gotten him down to few cards. 
Uh, we will counter that. Yeah. We don't like that around. Really wish I had the other Dynavolt Tower in play, but... Hey, it is what it is. And unless he's got a creature here, we should be able to close it out this turn right here. All right. We drew an Aether Hub. Going to put that. Make this a creature. Make our two hasty guys. And we should be able to finish him off here. We're not going to play that tower, so boom. Attack or fall, confirm, and we have as a backup, we can always ping them with the Dynavolt Tower if these guys don't make it through. But they should do it. So, that'll be it. Thanks for playing Flesh Dizzle. Alright guys, well thanks for watching me misplay some magic duels. If uh, you have some critique on this deck or ways that you think could make it better, please comment down below and as always, constructive criticism is always welcome and if you have some deck lists that you would like to see played on this channel, be sure to submit them either down in the comments or you can search for my email, zerobudgetgeek at gmail.com i will definitely answer all incoming correspondence so guys thanks for watching and i'll see you soon